Alrighty guys, we got the zero in. Oh my God, this is surreal. Surreal guys. What is up guys, it's your boy Rashad with Invoke Pro. And I have something extremely, extremely exciting to show you. Um, this is not on YouTube right now, so this is a YouTube first. This is a 2018 Zero DS motorcycle that I just picked up from Copart for a fraction of what this motorcycle cost at dealership. And I just wanted to go over some of the specs of the bike and why I was super excited to get this for the price I got. I'm gonna share that with you shortly here. But let's go over what I got so far and what is wrong with it because naturally as you know from Copart these motorcycles sometimes have some damage and I will go over the damage of this motorcycle with you to start with so going into this auction um, I'll put some of the links and stuff and some of the pictures that I saw and some of my thought process starting off the main thing I wanted to make sure with this bike is that all the electronics function because if you look up the price of these motorcycles this exact model starts at eleven thousand dollars and I got it for nowhere near that price and starting off just to do a quick test here all of the electronics function so I first powered up the dash and I saw that we had a, a battery percentage I charged it up overnight so it's at 100 now and it's only got 4195 4195 miles which is huge this bike is pretty much brand new and it does have some damage so let's look through and see how all the functions work I got eco sport you can see there sport eco custom and they all work all the lights work which is really huge they have super nice brake lights back here brake light work really awesome horn definitely works guys a lot of this this bike is in really good condition for the money so let's go ahead and test the electronics looks like uh, that also works so let's see what kind of power this bike makes Wow wow that is so powerful guys let's look at how fast the speedometer goes i know the wheel is in the air but let's check it out sport mode and let's slow that bad boy down so all the electronics work and as you saw there it topped out at about 103 miles an hour that's going to be really fun and just the thought of being able to charge up overnight and come out with a full tank that's just so amazing to me so let's go over the damage that's all the good let's see what the bad is and it gets a little bad so the direct impact looks like it was on the front wheel so this complete wheel is completely shattered so i'm going to go ahead and source one of those this wheel here is about 300 bucks the tire is a pirelli tire looks like it is in really good condition but that is busted. I don't know what they hit, but judging on the damage, it had to be some type of uh, maybe a large rock because the damage did not bend the forks. But of course, when you have that kind of damage, the force has to go somewhere. And I'm going to show you where the force went. So look at the max impact right here. Hold on. Let me see if I can get some better light for you guys here. So it's not too super exposed. As you can see here, that's where the wheel was bulged out. So looks like they might have went into a deep hole and hit a rock or something, but I don't know what they hit, but the force was great enough to completely shatter. Looks like this cast wheel. And here are my forks here. Let me turn this light down just a little bit so you can see. All right, there we go. All right, so the show of forks, they look to be in decent condition. Uh, it broke the brake mount here. And here is the brake farther up. Looks like it snapped it right at where it mounts. So I may get lucky. I may be able to reuse this brake. Uh, it looks to be in really good condition. Uh, brake pads also still there. I'm just going to see if I can get this one mount here and get it back on the wheel. The rotor is also bent, as you can probably assume with that kind of force. Sure, forks are straight. So, if the forks are straight and the wheel is bent, where did that force go? This is where it went. You look right up in there, guys. It's a cracked frame. So, I've been looking online, doing some research, and I see that a lot of these frames do crack. I don't know if the material they use is, is not super strong or if it's uh, poorly designed, but this is where they usually fracture, right at where the neck meets up with the fork stem. So I have a little crack there. And also the force was so great that it transferred along this frame member here and it met right there at the wheel. So we have another crack there, right along the seam, broke right on the wheel. 
and I discovered a final area is if you look up in here on the other side of the bike uh, also cracked right there so we got one two three four frame cracks the thing about it guys it does not scare me a whole lot because I know a really good aluminum welder I'm gonna take it to him and see if he can't take weld this for me so we have four cracks one two three four they're gonna be in pretty tight spaces so I'm gonna have to tear this bike down and I'm gonna show you guys that whole process because I'm learning just like you are I'm going along with the process I do have some electrical engineering background so I'll be able to look at some of these components and determine what they are and de-energize this bike in a safe manner I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride because at the end of this build I'm gonna have a stupid nice motorcycle for literally half or less than half of what it would cost me to get it at a dealership so I'm gonna keep you guys tuned I just want to get that quick rollover uh, just um, of what I have so far and once I get that wheel in I'll be able to get it off these jack stands because this bike is stupid 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 heavy stupid heavy uh, it's about a oh, well over 500 pounds and it was a nightmare trying to get it in and uh, get it inside of that uh, Ford Explorer so alrighty guys this is where I'm at so far so please like and subscribe this is some rich rebuilds type content I know he's done some uh, pretty extensive stuff so I'm gonna be doing it with motorcycles. I'm really big into EVs right now, so this is gonna be super exciting for me. And just a quick overview while I have you of some of the specs of this bike, it does have the charge tank. It's a $3,000 option, $3,000. So it, it, this allows me to essentially plug into the massive uh, uh, charging network for most EV cars. I know the Nissan Leaf, uh, I believe the Chevy Volt also is compatible with this. I'll have to check on that just to be sure but I can pretty much charge at super high rates with this charging, which is a really big, really big feature. This is a $3,000 option from zero, so that's really big. And other than that, I think it's pretty standard DS model. This is a 7.2 kilowatt hour. So that's, uh, that's the lowest range that they offer, but it still gives me excellent, excellent range in the city. I believe around 80 in the city, 30 or 40 on the highway, a combined of about 50 or 60. And this little door here opens. The reason why I'm going kind of into detail, I don't see many people posting this kind of content in depth on YouTube, so I'm going to be the major source for that. I'm going full EV, guys. Everything I do with this channel will be uh, pretty much based off of EV vehicles. I'm just infatuated with them right now. It's just so exciting. So let's just do a quick look over and get a close up of some of the electronics. I know I like to see this stuff. And just in case you guys want to, too, there's the big electric motor in there. It's beautiful, guys. I believe this is their 757 series. 75.7, so this is a uh, 46, at least a 46 uh, kilowatt uh, motor. So that's about 46,000 watts is what the power is. Uh, don't quote me on it, I kind of loosely read over the specs and it makes about 46 horsepower. So I think this is the lower end of the power band, but it's still absolutely mental, the power of this bike. And it's got the belt drive here. So let's get a little bit of the belt. The belt is a Kevlar belt really 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 strong belt uh, I liked it over the chain uh, because it's lower maintenance and it's extremely quiet as you can see compared to a chain at that kind of speed let's get in there a little bit more and just see just some more of that motor that motor is gorgeous guys to think that you could pack that kind of power in something that small it's just fascinating that's where the bike charge is at and luckily when I bought it from Copart the cable was in the bike Woo! saving about 20 bucks all right just a quick overlook here 7.2 baby I really wish I had the 14 kilowatt hour that would be absolutely amazing that's the brake caliper they have some really high quality brakes on these it's leaking a little bit of brake fluid I probably should get something under it but these show of forks are absolutely amazing I hear uh, so just a quick zoom in on the damage here that brake on the fork stayed true surprisingly I don't have to buy a $400 fork all I need to do is maybe pay a, a welder maybe a couple hundred bucks to get this frame straight for me Quick look over there yeah these forks are good guys you can see some of the scratch damage on there from when that wheel it pretty much exploded like a bomb yeah that's some pretty considerable it's just scratched up but if you see it's just a little bit of light scratching on you could tell this metal is much harder than this metal because I'm pretty sure you got the extent of all that just rubbing against it it barely has any scratches on it so but yeah guys uh, there's the rotor and there's the front of the bike so that's a really close look and I'm just gonna tear this bike down. I'm gonna grab 
all that footage and I'm gonna take you with me. And we're gonna explore this thing together. This is Invoke Pro Out and this is my 2018 Zero DS motorcycle rebuild.